What's going on everybody, this is Gaza, back here with another video, and obviously just over 24 hours ago, another sacking happened at the Shambolt Football Club called Motherwell, <laughs> uh, Stevie Hamill, club legend, sacked a couple of hours after cup defeat to Rafe Rovers, a shock defeat. Um, well, really, was it a shock defeat? I don't think so, because I think a lot of people had the expectation that they would be heading out of the cup. And with 14 games remaining, I think it was a shambolic decision to sack a man that had an inexperienced assistant. Had no, well, I mean, he got back in the January transfer window, not even two weeks after that. Windows shut. He's been sacked after bringing in nine players, and the board proceed to just sack him. Fair enough, he's had a poor run of results, but the man should be given a time, the time to build the team, even if they get relegated, which is probably going to happen. <clears throat> it's a symbolic situation, but I think. Maybe it's got to be the best decision, maybe the worst decision, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Stuart Kettlewell is taking over uh, as interim boss. He really should have been the assistant manager, former Ross County manager, a couple of years ago, did all right. But uh, by this point, we just need to get somebody in now that knows how to fight in a relegation battle can inspire these players because when the summer comes literally every player exception to McKinstry maybe Tierney get rid of them they're simply not performing they're not good enough at this level um, and I mean I've heard, I heard the phone in yesterday um, it was shambolic the result the performance and even from the captain himself, Wayne Kelly, who is a goalkeeper, who has been called up for the Scotland squad, who has been had call-ups for the Scotland squad. The second goal that we conceded was, well, I mean, the first one was a penalty, but the second one, what was he doing? I mean, it was absolutely symbolic from the goalkeeper, and especially somebody of who at one point is a decent... Um, been decent to be fair in his career but even at that the, this team have been underperforming for too long and maybe it's overachieving for many seasons the last six managers that have been in that football club have all lost the dressing room when I mean they've had different squads but you go but, but they've already had in the previous squads they had fighters at least willing to play for that badge willing to try and help the team stay in the division, which they did. Stuart McCall was the first one, then you had um, Ian Barraclough, then Mark McGee at his second spell, Stephen Robinson, who's probably the best manager we had since. Stuart McCall, to be honest, two cup finals and that, and then qualifying for Europe. Um, Graham Alexander, oh, don't get me started on that man, but then now, of course, Stevie Hamill. There's, I mean, I grew up idolising that, I'm at left back. If the as soon as you see the number three shot at Motherwell, instantly you think Stevie Hamill because he spent twenty years at the club as <laughs> as a player. It it just it's mind blowing. I mean, fans say oh the cheap option when he was appointed, but it was I liked the appointment. I thought it was some fresh. We we get like I like the gamble given the a young coach a chance to prove themselves started off all right performances were fine for a couple of months but it's a symbolic situation and honestly 14 games to go I think pff, the damage has been done for a long time it's been they've not been perform they're too inconsistent and they've been no performing to a level for I would say at least three years about this time three year ago they started to just I mean 
they're still managing to win games or picking up points, but it is shambolic and <sighs> I don't know where they go for here to be honest. I think if they get relegated they will struggle in the championship. A very, very difficult league to get back out of. Um could they be in that much free fall they could do what Party Fissel done a couple of years ago and go straight for League One? Um that's how C's situation is. No chief executive in place. Um and I mean this is supposed to be a fan owned club and the Bell Society running the club and fans are meant to have a say in the club but they've not really been get having that say. The communication has been poor for the last number of months as well between letting fans know what's happening in terms of injuries and in terms of any information that has been poor <coughs> it's been poor to say the least I think getting relegated might a full clear out playing staff the board just start a new start fresh see what they can do Um. I mean, McKinstry's loan current ends at the end of the season, return to Leeds, but I think his contract's up. So, he looks like he'll be leaving Leeds United, but I don't know. You lose him, we need somebody to build the team around someone, and I think McKinstry would be a great player to build around. But I think if we go down, he wouldn't want to play at the level. I don't know. I think maybe he is willing to play for Cobby. He knows the Cobby came through. He's a youth academy graduate. We just need somebody in there to, to can steady a ship first and try and build on something. We're never going to win the league, but I don't know. It's it's a difficult time. Supporters just want to see a good performance and a good win. I think even if we can just get wins at this point because it's the time of season... 14 games is a long way still, but I mean, we're not we're in the dog fight, but we could survive. But at this long time, I don't think we could beat anyone in this division. We're struggling against championship sides, and I mean, there's no much difference in quality there. I mean, a broth we just got by in the last round of the cup, and now uh, Rafe Rollers basically pumped us. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think Jim Goodwin, Jack Ross, they're two names at least. They've been linked with Paul Lambert, Neil Lennon, Sammy, uh, Valakari, former Motherwell player, and many more. But I don't know who'll take that job, to be honest. It's a sinking ship and it's been a sinking oh, ship for a while. But I'm going to end it there. Remember to comment, like and subscribe for more of this content.